welcome to the Morris Federation series of events during lockdown. And uh, this one is a diff slightly different from all the others. This is how to get you back to dancing fitness. And today we have Rhys Foreman, who's going to help us. And this is the first of a six week programme. And we'll be sending out exercises every week for you to do at the weekend. So I'm going to hand straight over to Rhys. All right, good morning, everyone. Um, good morning to those who are waking up very early to do in America. Um, so I'm part of Six My Sides, um, so I'm not just a fitness freak. Um, I'm, I do, I, I'm part of Six My Sides, but also I'm a PE teacher at an all-boys school in London. So I'm trying to replicate some of those stuff we do in our fitness sessions for mice. So there will be some mice um, activities. However, this is mainly going to be do um, improving fitness for my stance. And so the, we're going to split it down into a warm up, then a core session, and then some plyometrics. Plyometrics is jump training. So that part will have a lot more mice activities and exercises to do. Okay, so to begin with, I'm going to do a warm up. Just make sure you have water nearby. If you've got a towel or a fitness mat, and that'll be perfect for the core session. Um, and the recording will be sent to YouTube. So the recording afterwards will be put up on YouTube. I'm also going to um, upload each week instructions. It won't be in my um, hallway. It will be from the school. I'll be recording, pre-recording some recordings. They'll be sent to you weekly. And then in six weeks' time, we're going to see how far you progressed at, by the end of the six weeks as well. Okay, so... What I'm going to do is to do a warm up quickly. Just going to put my water at the back. Okay, so some of you may have done this as well as part of. Um, I've done some warm ups at Simmuth workshops. Okay, and um, so you may have done this warm up before, but ideally with a warm up, you need to be getting your pulse up anyway. Okay, so so what I, what I want to do is basically walk around your little space okay walk around your space okay anyway you want just make sure some of you have been um sitting down on the sofa maybe chalk sitting down for 15 minutes waiting to get into the pool so walk around in your space okay i'm gonna do this just to make sure your joints are getting lubricated making sure you're ready to move as well. So walk around, in your, I've got a very small space, so I'm not, that's why I'm always in the screen, it's a very small space, and so I've not been doing much more stuff in the past year. Okay, what I want to do now is to walk up on your tiptoes, okay? Okay, so walk up on your tiptoes, walk around in your space on your tiptoes. I don't have much flexible feet, but this is my best tiptoe. Walk, so walk around on your tiptoes for me. And what I want you to do now, okay, is to walk on your heels, okay? So this does feel like it jolts a little bit, so just walk on your heels very softly. This is to make sure that your calves are getting stretched as well. So walking on your heels. Okay, then what I want you to do is what I call a pigeon walk. And you get down a little bit lower. You don't have to do the arms, okay? You get down a little bit lower. Okay, so you get down low, you need to walk through. Okay, so you're gonna heel plant and walk through your foot. Okay, so you're walking, get bend down lower. Okay, your heel striking first and walking through your foot. You should be able to plant your heel and walk through your foot. Then try and speed up that walk as well. The next one I need to do is jog on the spot for me please. You can just jog on the spot. Okay, because that makes your heart rate a little bit higher. Okay. Use your arms if you want as well. In my stances, we use both our arms and our legs. So jog on the spot. Okay. 
Okay, we can stop. Stop there. This all you need to do is a heel flick, just put your hands on your bum so you don't kick yourself in the bum. And do some heel flicks. So your heels should be hitting your bum. Do some heel flicks. Okay, we're going to stop there. The next one, what I want you to do is do some high knees. Okay, they always get, I always was told off with being a seven champ. Even though seven champs are meant to have their high knees, I kind of did my high knees too much. So, can you do your high knees for me? Stop there. Next one we need to do is open the gates. Okay, so this is a this is a football drill, but it kind of is a bit like a galley as well. Well, the opposite version. So you open the gates, you bring, it, bring your leg out, open the gates, bring your leg out. So all these stretches we're going to be doing this morning or before the session is going to be a moving or dynamic stretch. Just because if you do a static stretch, which is where you're standing still, your muscles aren't warmed up yet, and you could cause an injury or pull bone in bone muscle. Next thing I want you to do is close the gates. Okay, so bring it back out, bring it in, bring it back out, bring it back in. Okay, next thing, I want you to do high kicks. So I've got quite flexible hips, which I only just realized when I'm teaching students. So if you can, do a high kick. So you can do three, do take three steps. So you go one, two, three, and you kick. You go one, two, three, kick. Obviously, if you can't get that high, that's fine. You just do what's comfortable for you. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is going to do some more, more mobility stretches from your head down to your toes. Okay, so what I need to do is look up, look down. Look up, look down, move to your left, move to your right, move to your left, move to your right. Next thing I need to do is shrug your shoulders, go back down, shrug your shoulders, and go back down. Do that a few times. Next thing I need to do is roll your shoulders backwards. Rotate your arms forwards. Oh, sorry, so rotate your shoulders forwards. Next thing I'm going to try and do it in my small way, but if I hit the ceiling, I hit the ceiling. You can rotate, make sure you've got enough space. Can you rotate your arms forwards for me, please? You can you rotate your arms backwards? My favourite one as a teacher, one arm forwards, one arm backwards. So one arm forwards, not both arms going forwards. Try and get one arm going forwards, one arm going backwards. And go bring it back to the top and go back the other way. I know that, that will confuse a lot of kids with their coordination. Okay, next thing I need to do is rotate your hips. You're going to go clockwise first. Okay, 
rotate anti-clockwise. And we'll stop there. Next time we need to do, just move to a sideways lunge, hold it like briefly, move to the other side. So it's not a static stretch as we're only moving one to one side and we're never pausing. So it lunges to the side. Next one, I want you to hold your it's a calf stretch, bring your leg forwards, down, back up, and down. So again, there should be never a point where your muscle or your body is stationary. So moving down, bring your leg forwards. Next one is a quad stretch. Going to hold it for two seconds of that. Pause and down. Hold it for a second and down. Pause if you can. If you can do this in balance, hold on to your ears. Your knees should be touching together. So just basically holding. Okay, next thing I want you to do, okay, is to basically sidestep, okay, for a few times if you need a space. If it's too narrow, just rotate 90 degrees and go where there is space. Okay, next thing I want you to do, okay, is how we introduce a single step in mice. So again, we are going to do some a little bit of mice stepping as well. So what I want you to do is bounce on your left leg eight times, then your left right leg eight times. Okay, so bounce on your left leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right leg, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left leg four times, right leg four times. One, two, three, four. Right leg, one, two, three, four. Left leg twice, right leg twice, and keep on going. So left leg, one, two, right leg, one, two, one, two, right leg, left leg, right leg, left leg, right leg. Keep on going. Keep on doing that. So that is a single step. You will be using that if you choose to use that later on in the plyometrics. So we we'll stop there. So the next one is a double step. Okay. This is a, I'm going to do a butt, I said Bucknell style um, double step, um, which is a one, two, three hop because there's no height. Okay. So I'm going to go. One, two, three, hop, one, two, three, hop, one, two, three, hop, one, two, three, hop. Okay, I'm gonna stop there. The next one is what I'd probably call a Hammersmith, a BB, or a um, Fool's Gambit type double step. It's basically you're going to leap on the first step and then do a hop on the last one. So you go one, two, three, hop, one, two, three, hop, one, two, three. And stop there. The next one is for those who do clock, so northwest. We do advanced step. So we're gonna go up and down. Make sure your knee goes nice and high. You can tell I don't do much northwest. And that is our warm-up, 
Okay, so if you are warm, grab, a, grab some water and we'll go through the next core session. Grab some water and while you're grabbing some water, I'll go through the next exercises. This will be time as well to get your roll mat and your towel laid out. This is also the session where you would need the chair. Um, so this is where you need to do the, um, have the chair nearby to be able to do the tricep dips as well. I'll try and do most of these exercises in the center. I'll try also not to make sure my feet are on the fitness mat because I've been told off to have my feet on the fitness mat. Okay, so the first exercise is a squat. This is going down. Your feet should be facing forwards, shoulder width apart. Okay, I will move them up quickly actually while I demonstrate so you can see my feet. Feet are facing forwards, shoulder width apart, you're going down. If you can't go all the way down, that's fine. You make sure you're not your back's not going too far forwards as well. So you're doing a squat and come back up, okay? So that's the first movement, okay? Next one is a lunge. Make sure your knee doesn't over, doesn't go in front of your leg. So you're gonna take a long stride, you go down, make sure your knee doesn't go in front of your toe, okay? And switch in over to the other side as well. Okay, next one is a ceiling touch. Okay, you're going to try and reach the ceiling and then go touch your toes. Touch the ceiling, touch your toes. Okay, the next one is a leg raise. This is where I need the mat. The next few exercises we use the mat. We do have 10, sec 10 seconds rest between each exercise. However, I may try. I'll try and get the mat out as quick as possible in that time. So with a leg raise, you're basically laying down on the mat, back, back on the floor. Okay, you're lifting your legs up and lifting your legs down. So I'm just going through the exercises, I'm not going through them straight away, just going through each exercise very quickly while you have a breather. Next one is the flutter kicks. So this is where you're bringing your heels off the floor and fluttering your legs as well. Next one is the calf raise. Basically, it's quite simple. Lift your legs up, lift your legs down, lift your legs up, lift your legs down. Okay, the next one is a plank. A plank is when you're going down onto your, you can use your arms, steps out like that or you can do on your elbows. I generally do my elbows, plus and tiny up to you. Next one, after that is a knee to elbow um, crunch. You can do this on the floor. If you do it on the floor, it is harder. Okay, however, a knee to elbow crunch is that. You can change sides and then it's that. Okay, so that's a knee to elbow crunch. So if you're doing that, you have to stand up. If you stay on the mat, that's fine. If you do it on the mat, it looks like this. I realise that my head does pop out. After that, it is what many believe is the hardest one. And that is a V-sit. A V-sit, you keep in your legs and arms straight as they go up. So a V-sit looks like this and back down. If you can't do that, okay, just lift, just lift your legs up and do your leg raises again. So if you can't do the V-sits, the V-sits this, and then back down, go and do a leg raise. The one after that is a shoulder tap. So a shoulder tap, basically it's gone, you can go on your knees if you want, the same as the plank actually. Okay, you then doing that and that. That's the modified version. If you want to do the, um, Full version, you go into the plank position again. And you basically 
doing shoulder taps like that. Okay. Next one is the tricep dip, which will be how you use your chair. Okay. Basically, so legs going down, you're going up and down, you're going up. You can do it on the mats if you don't have a chair. Basically, you go like this, you're going up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, next one is a Russian twist. Okay, we lift your legs up in the air, move to the side. And that's a Russian twist. The last one, because it's my worst one, I don't like it much, um, but because of my stance, if you need to get on strip, we're going to do a press up. So a press up, again, if you've got modified, you put your knees down, arms in front of you, you're going down like that. Do a normal press up, knees off the floor, and down and up. So they are the instructions, they are the exercises for the first workout. Okay, so I will go talk for them. This is why I asked Fee to send that out, because there are a lot of exercises in one go. Okay, so we are going to do 20 seconds of exercise. Okay. <laughs> 20 seconds of exercise and then 10 seconds rest. Okay, what I'm, I'm going to say, you go at your own pace. That means you're only doing one or two X squats in 20 seconds, that's fine, because in six weeks time, hopefully you'll be able to do three or four squats in those 20 seconds. So you do it in your own time, okay? Um, do your own time, doesn't matter how many um, reps you do, because we're all starting out this week. If we do the workout each week, hopefully by in six weeks time, we'll be able to do more reps. So I'm just going to get, get my interval timer ready. So we are going to do this rotation twice. Okay, so do not go like a ball in a china shop. Okay, we're not going to do the money Carnival advert again because that's a bit cringeworthy. Um, but we are going to do a ball in a china shop. We aren't going to just go all the reps in the first rotation because otherwise you're going to tire yourself out. You've got a raised hand, Nina. Nina. Is there a... Oh, are we able to... Sorry. I, was, I wasn't sure if Sartok was we supposed to be following you doing that or whether that no, was just a No, I was just going through the instructions for each exercise. Right. Um, so now this is when you're going to do your part. So that was me just working out by myself, just showing you the exercises. This is now where you're doing 10 seconds exercise, sorry, 20 seconds exercise, 10 seconds rest. Okay, so I'm going to count down when to start. So the first exercise is a squat. Okay, and start in five, four, three, two, one, and go to squats at your own pace, 20 seconds. So go at your own pace. And that's time. So you have 10 seconds rest to go into the lunges for a lunge again, it's that. Okay, we're going to start in four, three, two, one, and go. So lunges, only at your own pace. So hopefully in six weeks' time, you'll be able to do more reps in every single exercise. And stop there. Ten seconds rest. Next one is going to the ceiling touches. Okay, starting in four, three, two, one, and go. Touch the ceiling, go down to your toes. Touch the ceiling, go down to your toes at your own pace. And as you go through this, you should be able to realize that you should be able to touch your foot, toes easier each time. Okay, that's it, stop there. 10 seconds rest, now we're going to go into our leg raises. In three, two, one, leg raises, let's start going. One, at your own pace, the slower is actually harder. So leg raises. And stop there. 
Okay, you've got 10 seconds rest. Again, take your own time. Okay, then we've got the flutter kicks in three, two, one, and go. So the flutter kicks, lifting your legs off the floor. This should be where you feel your abs or your, your core working. I can definitely feel my breakfast coming back in. <laughs> And stop there. 10 seconds rest to get up off the floor. Hopefully not in a heap. Okay, you're gonna do your calf raises. So your calf raises in three, two, and one. So calf raises. And stop there. The next exercise is your plank. So again, you can go on your knees, okay? Or you can go on your straight arms or your elbows. It's entirely up to you. Let's start in three, two, and one. If your bum shouldn't be too high, your bum shouldn't be too low, you should, be, you should be able to put a tray on your back and nothing should fall off. And stop there, you've got 10 seconds rest. I'm gonna do my first rotation, the knee and elbow crunches in the air. You can do it on the floor if you want to. Okay, so there are these ones, and go. And stop there. Next one is my favorite, other people's least favorite. It's the V-sits. So you get them down on the floor, bring your arms and legs together, and let's go. So nice and controlled, should be coming up and down at the same time. If you can't do the V-sit, just do the leg raises again. Also don't forget to breathe. And stop there. I know it's quite sounds silly, but lots of people forget to breathe while you're doing a V-sit. Next one is just shoulder taps. So I'm doing that. And go. Should be just the shoulder taps, touching your shoulders as you're in a plank position. Three, two, and one, and stop. Next one is the tricep dip. So I've only got my hug on my trusty wooden chair to do my tricep dip, so you can do it on the floor if you want. Well, and sofa edge, so going down, let's go. And up, down, and up. Try and go all the way down. Make sure it's around an inch off the floor, and bring yourself back up. And stop there. Next one, two more exercises left. Don't worry, we've got two more exercises left for this rotation. Truss and twist, legs up in the air, touching each side. And go. One, two, three, four, And stop there. 10 seconds rest until the press ups. So go into your press up position, that could be on the knees, okay, or in the normal plank position with your knees off the floor. Let's go and do the press ups. And stop. Have one minute rest. Actually, we're going to have two minutes rest. Two minutes rest from now. Have two minutes rest. Grab some water again. I'm going to go through that again. Okay, so we're going to go through those exercises again. So you should be able to feel it in your abs now. Okay, we have two minutes rest or around about. Around about an hour and ten. No, no. We've got a minute forty now. Okay, until we go again. 
Okay, so you should be feeling the abs working. Got some water if you want. I realized there's no windows in this corridor and I've got a light right next to my head. <laughs> so hopefully by the end of six weeks, your core will be feeling all right after that session. Your legs feel, may not feel as good after the plyometric session because that's purely leg based. Okay, so we've got another minute of rest and then we'll go on to the next one as well. I do realize it's just gone half past as well. So hopefully we'll try and get the plyo, plyo circuit in as well. Okay, so we've got 45 seconds. I was going to do my one minute rest, but I thought I'd double it as well. I'll be nice today. Maybe the last last session will have half the rest time. Okay, so just, ne next exercise is the squats and then it's the lunges. I'll count you down. Actually, I need to get my, my phone ready for the timer. Got fifth, we've got 20 seconds until we start again. We're gonna repeat everything again, squats, lunges, ceiling touches, and so forth. Again, okay. So if you can't do the triceps, charge on the sofa, or you just do it on the floor as well. So I'm starting, now that was two minutes exactly, in three, two, and one, the squats. So legs, feet facing forwards. How low can you go? as well. Make sure you're not, your back's not hunched too much. And stop there. We've got 10 seconds rest and then we're going to the lunges. Three, two, one, and go. As Simon said on the original group chat, a lunge is a fancy, or an RTB is just a fancy lunge. And stop there. Okay, 10 seconds, then doing the ceiling touches. Three, two, one, and go touch the ceiling, which I can, and touch the floor, touch the ceiling. And again, you should be able to go lower each time you go towards your toes. And stop there. Get back on the floor to do our leg raises. So this is where the core starts working. Okay, starting three, two, and one leg raises. Again, the slower, the harder. Don't forget to breathe. Okay, breathe, maybe breathe as your legs go down. And breathe as your legs go up. Okay, stop there. Flutter kicks, this should be a continuous breathing with the flutter kicks. So again, lift us off the floor, kick it up, and go. Got 15 seconds left of flutter kicks. You should feel quite tired after doing the leg raises as well and stop there. So you get off of the mat, hopefully not in heap again. Okay, doing the calf raises, try and get your tiptoes, I've been flexible feet. And go, so calf raises, down up to the floor, and back down. And stop there. The next one is the plank. Again, the plank could be on the knees if you want, okay, or straight arm or elbows. And so I do, I use the elbows, side of three, two, one, and go. So again, your back should be nice and flat, okay, your bum should not be too high up or too low. Hold it, engage the core. Three, two, one, and go. So the next one is the elbow to knee touches. I'm going to do this on the floor because I did it on 
Stand up last time. Three, two, one, and go. Three, two, one, and stop. Next one is the V-sit, so we get into the V-sit. Maybe breathe in as your legs and arms go down, or breathe out as the arms go up, or vice versa. And go. Three, two, one, and stop. Next one is the shoulder taps. Again, if you can do these on your knees or in the plank position, just touching your shoulders. Three, two, one, and go. Three, two, one, and stop. Next one, it is the tricep dips. So again, if you can't do it on the chair, maybe do it on the sofa or on the floor. Three, two, one, and go. And stop. 10 seconds, then into the, to the Russian twists. So again, feet off the floor, touching each side of your hip, and go. Go at your own pace, no need to rush it, especially with the parametrics next. And stop there. So you've got 10 seconds to do the press-ups. Three, two, one, and go. And stop. Okay, so this could be the time to grab some more water, maybe use your towel to wipe off the sweat, and also to roll up your mat. I'm going to go quickly go into each exercise. Okay, so while you're having your water, I'm going to go straight into it. Then I have a quick sip of water myself. Okay, so parametrics is where you're working your legs. Okay. Okay, so next one is the parametrics. This is jump training. I'm going to go through each exercise first. If you don't do anything, this is your rest time. Okay. The first one is a jump squat, so you're going down and jumping. Next one is a jump and lunge. Okay, so again, go at your own pace. Okay, if you're doing the jump and lunge, we may want to go down. Do not like jump afterwards, go down, like jump afterwards. Okay, next one is when the Morris comes in, we're going to do a plain caper. We're going to go basically. One, two, three, four. For 20 seconds. So jumping on one leg to the other, like you would finishing up a field time dance. Next one is a fast hop. You're basically hopping your leg as far as you can. 20 seconds. Change legs. 20 seconds. Okay. This next one afterwards is a bit like the repeat of the warm-up. You choose which Morris step you do. You could do it the double step, 
Go ahead. Single step. The double step. We start with a double step. With a round step. Next one, if you do Bampton, you could suggest that this movement is slightly like what I call a manhole caper or manhole, yeah, manhole caper. So you go in and out, in and out. So in and out squats. That's the in and out squats. Next one is the one I may not be able to do due to space. So you can either do it. Modifications here is jumping jack, so out, in, out, in, okay, or the plyo jack, which is out and in, out and in. I can't do that much because my ceiling. Then after that, you've got a split lunge. So, can't do a split lunge. Again, I can't really do it with the ceiling. Here's what you do in Sherb one, so you go. Oh, oh. Can't do that. Do a jumping lunge or just do a normal lunge. We're going to finish it with some more stuff. And again, you choose. You have to do the single, a double. Okay. We, what we may do as well, we only do this rotation once as we are running out of time. Okay. You may be thinking, yeah, that's, I'm happy with that. I don't want to do that twice. Um, but we're going to do 20 seconds rest, 20 seconds exercise, and then I'll do a cool down. And then we'll have any questions at the end. So it's 20, no, sorry. It's 10 exercises, 20 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. So it's the same amount of rest as you are working because there is a high intensity exercise. Okay, so the first one is a jump in squat. If you can't do a jump in between it, just do a squat. Same with the jump in lunges. If you can't do a jump in between, just do the lunge. Okay, so five, four, three, two, one, and go, jump squats. Let's go, 20 seconds. How much height can you get? I don't hit my head on the ceiling. And stop there. 20 seconds rest. Whew. 20 seconds rest. Now I'm going to the jump and lunges. Still got more than 10 seconds left. I wish there was aircon in this flat. Five. Jump and lunges. Four. Three. Two. One. And go. Jump and lunges. And stop. 20 seconds rest. Next one's the plain capers. Get your Morris fix in. So I feel 10 plain caper for 20 seconds. Still got 10 seconds rest. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Realize how hard they were until you blew it for 20 seconds. Next one's the fast hops for 10 20 seconds. Start on your left leg. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Go get some air off the floor. Hop in. Again, yeah, go as fast as me. Try and get that foot off the ground. Stop. 
<laughs> 20 seconds rest. Your calf should now be contracting and should be feeling quite heavy. So now going on the other side to even it out. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Stop. Next one is optional. What you, what my step you choose. I may start with the flamboyant double step. Then may end with the single step at the end. So I'm going to go five seconds. You're my step of your choice. Three, two, one, and go. Make sure you get that height because it is plyometrics. And stop there. Next one is the in and out squats. Still got 15 seconds rest. Maybe get a quick swig of water if you can. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. In and out, in, and then out, in, out. Let's keep it up, good work. I see people on their screens, keep it up. And stop there. Ooh. 20 seconds rest, either doing a jumping jack, or doing a plyo jack. It's enough to you, you've got 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. And stop there. Next one is a split lunge, or a jumping lunge, or a normal lunge. Entirely up to you. Have like 10 seconds to choose. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. And stop there. Last one. My steps. Entirely up to you. Very last exercise. Maybe you want an easy one, or you want your hard one. I do advanced step. I think need to improve. Three, two, one, and go. And stop. I'm going to give you two minutes rest. Two minutes rest. And then we're going to do a cool down. We're running out of time. One rotation of the plow jacks. Maybe next second week we do it. We get to do the plow jack twice. So two minutes. Then we're going to do a cool down. Then we'll any last minute questions at the end as well. So grab some water. Actually, I'm only give a minute for the cool down. Give you a minute. Twenty-five seconds to do, to do the cool down. We're going to start off with is basically some stepping. Okay, and then we'll do some stretching. Ten seconds. Five, four. 
So it's much lower intensity. Let's go and do some buck knee double steps. So one, two, three, hop. One, two, three. One, two, three, hop. Now we'll do some single steps. Single steps, nice and gentle. Okay, what I want to do now is do that pigeon walk. We're getting down low. We're doing the pigeon walk. Okay, now I want you to walk on your tiptoes. Walk on your tiptoes. Okay, this one now, we're now going to go into our stretching. Okay, we're going to do some arm stretching. Hold it across the top, make sure your arm's not on top of the elbow. Hold it for 10 seconds. Okay, switch arms. Go back to the first time, first arm. Okay, go back to your second arm. Okay, next one, what you do is a quad stretch. You're holding your knee, same thing to do the warm up, but hold it now for eight to 10 seconds. Okay, change legs. Go back to your first leg. Go back to your second leg. Next one, hamstring stretch. You put one leg out. You're putting pressure on the non-leg, which is in the stand now. So, leg out, you should be feeling it. So, check my angle, should be feeling it down there. So, hold it. Okay, change legs. You should be feeling it down there. Come back to your first leg. So, again, should be feeling it down there. You're putting bending down. Then go back to your second leg. Okay, just shake our muscles out for me, please. Okay, roll your shoulders if your shoulders are hurting. Run forwards. And then that is me done for today.